my channel if you're new here hello my name is Jodie so I realized the other day that I have not really done a get to know me sort of video I've just like, kind of just posted so this video is just a little bit of a backstory of me just some random little questions that I'm just gonna read off my laptop here um so yeah if you're interested in getting a little bit getting to know a little bit more about me then please keep on watching so the first question is what is your full name so my full name is jodie rose state which is my channel name um i think that's quite a self-explanatory question um what was your favorite subject in high school so obviously i live in the uk so i call it secondary school um my favorite subject was either music or art i must i must say those are my top two um, I was quite like an arty person, love arts. I quite liked um, performing arts when I was in up to year 17 and 9, that was quite fun. But I didn't take it for GCSE, but I took music and art for GCSE. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed both of those topics. Um, and I currently do music at college, which some of you may know because I have mentioned before. Um, so yeah, I'm in a band at college, so that's fun. Um, what's your favourite drink? I don't know i don't like tea i like coffee i like iced coffees i like coke zero i like dr pepper i like i like all sorts really <laughs> what's your favorite color pink obviously but recently i have i have found that i i'm quite liking the color brown i don't know i think it's just a trend recently but pink my staple color fun fact i'm i when i was at school i never used to like pink don't know why i really don't know why i just didn't like the color pink but now i'm obsessed with it my walls are pink my bed is pink everything is pink in my house or in my room anyway <laughs> so the next question is what's your favorite animal so everyone's gonna say like are you a dog or a cat person dog person of course i absolutely love my dog my dog's called minnie she is absolutely she's beautiful i love her i can't get enough of her she's literally my best friend um are dogs my favourite animal? I don't really know. Um, another fun fact, I have pet peacocks, if that's interesting. Yeah, I have pet peacocks. We have, I think about like eight or eight-ish, maybe, maybe a bit more, a few more, I don't know. Like ten, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> no idea. Um, yeah, we have peacocks um, and two of them, sorry, just got a message. Two of them are called Steve. They're both called Steve because we can't tell them apart because they're identical, but they're the youngest. And that's the only reason why we can tell them apart from all the others. And basically their mum wasn't looking after them very well. So we kind of took them in, put them in like a little cage in, in the house and <laughs> let them fly about the house every now and then. And they'd follow me um, and they just like follow me around as if I was like their mum or something, which was like, it was cute, but it was a bit strange. Um, you know how like when they're babies, they sit underneath like their mother and like the mother sits on the eggs and then when they hatch they keep them warm you know you know what i mean i would be sat down and the, the peacocks would be trying to just like get underneath me as if like i'm their mom and they want me to like sit on them <laughs> oh it was so cute though i need to find some videos that was so cute when they were little they were just flying around the kitchen it was so cute um so yeah that's a bit of a fun fact i think my favorite animal is a dog i can't lie it sounds pretty basic um i quite like um giraffes giraffes are really cute as well um but yeah what's your favorite perfume hold on i have got a few favorites i can't lie i don't know where the lid to this one has gone but i've got some favorites i am genuinely a perfume addict i love love perfume so cutie bloom obsessed obsessed this is amazing i think so i've got quite different tastes in perfume sometimes i like a really sweet and then sometimes i like a little bit like dark you know i like i go opposite ends of the scale it just depends what mood i'm in which is why i have i, I literally have an entire drawer full of it i'm not even joking and it's just like whatever i'm feeling that day whatever outfit i'm wearing whatever vibe i'm going for depends on what perfume i'm gonna wear so obsessed absolutely obsessed this one my boyfriend's mum got it me um it's versace but oh, it's so nice but the thing is it's so different from like the sweet scents like i can't even like i can't even like 
can I explain it? It's like soury. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not sweet, it's sour. I don't know, but I like it. It's very like girl boss vibes, like proper. Like it's proper like businesswoman, like mature. You know what I mean? I don't know, it's hard to explain. Like I've watched loads of perfume videos. I love watching perfume videos because I love other things that I can like add to my collection. You know what I mean? And like, I don't understand how people explain what a smell smells like. But anyway, moving on. Holy grail. Holy grail. I love this. My fate, I've tried, I've, I've tested and tried pretty much all of the Victoria's Secret um, perfumes. Not sure where the lid's gone, but teas. Absolute gem. There's, um, it's heavenly as well. Um, it's like a goldy, yellow, yellowy gold, whatever. That is amazing as well from Victoria's Secret. Honestly, whenever you see this, just have a smell and the heavenly one obsessed with both of these but i don't have the heavenly one at the minute but i definitely want to get it obsessed with this this is very sweet very sexy i love it and my top tier i can't i can't it's just it's just amazing armani absolutely amazing very expensive are you seeing the size of this like compare it to like the size of these it's tiny. This bottle is eighty pounds. I'm not like it's not even this. It's this is eighty pound. I, I think that is crazy how expensive it is. It's literally. I think it is my favourite. But I literally only use this if I'm like. I mean, I've used quite a bit of it to be fair, but. Oh it's, oh it's absolutely amazing so i've ranted i've ranted for ages about perfume but perfume is literally my thing i love perfume but these are absolute gems genuinely so next one have you been out of the country um i have but it's when i was like really young i i think i would have been like i would have been under 10 years old the last time i went abroad um and i can't really remember it because like I say, I was like 10. So, hold on, I'm really sorry guys. My watch is buzzing. Um, so yeah, I went to, I've been to Disneyland a few times. Paris and um, Florida. Um, yeah, I don't really remember it though because I was like a baby. I was like a baby, a toddler, whatever. So, you know what I mean? Like, it looked fun. I look back at pictures, it looked fun. <laughs> and then I've been on a cruise. So, yeah in quite a few places but not recently but i do want to go now that i'm 18 i want to just travel the world you know what i mean um so that that's on my bucket list travel um do you have any siblings yes i have a brother a half brother and a sister um what's your favorite clothing store clothing store i'd say pretty thing misguided honestly primark honestly primark have some bargains at the minute genuinely i've done a primark video but I'm, i i need to do more primark videos because honestly i went into primark today just nipped in because <laughs> you guys may know if you've watched my primark haul you'll see that the like striped jeans they were gorgeous didn't fit so it's like yeah um I would size up in those jeans if I were you, I can't lie. But, yeah. Primark, absolute gem at the minute, not even joking. So, next up, did you enjoy school? Yes, I did enjoy school. Somewhat I didn't. I've made a, a whole, like, sort of chit-chat video about, like, my school, high school experience. But I did enjoy school. Like, towards the end, like, year 10, year 11, I really did enjoy school. Um... But I didn't think I would miss it as much as I do, you know. Like, now that I'm at college. Like, I remember one of my teachers, I think it was my travel and tourism teacher, saying to me and my friend, um, everyone, oh, because we were saying, oh, can't wait to leave, can't wait to leave, when we were in, like, year 11. And she was like, everyone says they can't wait to leave, and then when they've gone, they want to come back. And we were like, yeah, right, yeah, I can't wait to get out of this place. Like, we just totally ignored that. And now that we've left, it's like, damn i really do miss it you know don't know just like the social life of it 
like there was some horrible people at school like i think there is in every school you know you're all young we're all like immature you know so yeah and i do miss some of my teachers actually like a lot of my teacher a lot of my teachers that i didn't like in like the first few years at school towards the end you just like become they just i think most teachers when you're in year 10 11 they just accept you who you are it's like you're like the oldest of the school and it's like they, they take you more seriously they treat you like an adult you know what i mean so i think that's why you like get a better bond with your teachers when you're in like year 11 or sixth form or whatever um who are your favorite youtubers so at the minute i am obsessed with summer teal obsessed with her honestly i just want to be a friend i watch her videos and i genuinely feel like i'm talking to like my friend you know like i'm my mate i having a bit of a chit chat that's how i feel and that's how i like it's sort of what's sort of inspired me to start youtube in a way like, i've always wanted to do it but watching her videos like i don't think she'll mind me saying this but like she's not very like professional you know it's just like it's a chit chat video it's like getting i don't know it feels so casual like there's no like proper setup or anything which i actually like which is what's inspired me to do it because it's like it's not that much effort just to prop up your phone and start talking you know so i think she has inspired me a lot to be honest um what phone do you have i have an iphone xr not really a lot else to say about that <laughs> um how tall are you some of you may already know this if you watch my other videos i am four foot nine to ten to eleven ish ish <laughs> um who did you look up to growing up so like i said i've always been interested in like music um and my granddad did music he he was a professional singer he used to sing like pubs and clubs and stuff um and do gigs so yeah he was quite like into stuff like that anyway and then obviously my dad grew up with that and my dad my dad never did singing like professionally but he can sing you know what i mean i think it's in his genes so that's why i can sing so thanks granddad <laughs> um but yeah i've i've sort of grown up to look up to him in a way because it's like he he's my granddad and he he, he was selling out venues you know what i mean even though i'm now i don't really want to do that anymore but when i was growing up and i was into like music and stuff and that's what i wanted to be that's who i would look up to um what are your favorite things about yourself mentally physically um physically looking at myself in here i quite like my eyes i've got hazel eyes um i quite right i quite like my height i think it brings character do you know what i mean because i'm sure some of you will agree with me short people are the best people no offense to anyone who is taller than four foot ten <laughs> i'm sure there's a lot of people watching who are taller than ten, five, uh, four foot ten but we are the best people do you know what i mean we're the best we're just bubbles of joy do you know what i mean um what else do i like about myself i don't really know <laughs> that's really sad isn't it oh i like the fact that i've got small feet sounds a bit weird but i get um shoes cheaper can't go wrong i've got size two and a half to three feet size feet it's like anyway um biggest accomplishment i must say my biggest accomplishment oh god i can't speak biggest accomplishment so far in my life is probably my gcses because i did quite well in them um passing my driving test was literally life-changing for me i live in the middle of nowhere i'm quite remote so it's like if i hadn't passed my like when i when i was younger when i hadn't passed my test whatever when i wasn't driving my mum or dad would have to drive me places like there's not even like paths where i live like there's no buses there's no train station like the, the closest bus or train station is like two three miles away so it's like and it's not even a walkable like it's not like a straight path to the next bus stop you know what i mean it's not walkable it's like a dirt track road so it's like I would have to rely on mum and dad a lot so having my own car just, just freedom freedom and it's also like with my boyfriend he doesn't drive yet but he's getting lessons so it's like 
me and him can like go out and do something it's not like having to ask my mum and my mum or dad or his mum and dad to like take us somewhere it's like oh yeah do you want to go here yeah yeah let's go like we could go on holidays and stuff like that um so yeah i like that i like that that was my biggest accomplishment um what is the most important thing in your life honestly just like being happy like some of you may have come from tiktok and if you have been hey um but i've struggled with mental health for quite a few years and i've had so many times where i've not been happy and like i've I genuinely haven't felt happiness for like when i don't know how to explain this but for a long period of time in my life i hadn't felt happiness ever like i didn't know what pure true happiness felt like because you can get so many things that make you happy but it's only for a short amount of time you know like for example if i place an order on plt it makes me very happy but it doesn't really last does it it's like money doesn't buy happiness because it doesn't um like the happiness from like little physical things doesn't it doesn't count really and it's like people's hearts people's personalities people's souls are things that make you genuinely happy um and it's like your own soul your own happiness like that that like your own person that's what makes you happy you know so money doesn't buy happiness that is a true fact genuinely true um but yeah i think that's pretty much the end of this video uh, i really hope you've enjoyed it it got a little bit deep in places um but yeah let me know if you have any other video ideas because guys i'm already running out of video ideas genuinely um if you want me to do another like little q a then let me know and let me know if you have any questions that you want me to answer so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you've had an absolutely fantastic day and i will see you in the next one bye guys